Hey, how's it going? Yeah, this is a Blues Dog Pop Rocks, the author of the fantastic new book called Quantum Manifesto. I'm going to put a couple uh, uh, book reviews on you. One is Genetic Engineering. Got this at my local public library. Recommend this book. Gives you basically the pros and cons of genetic engineering, which, by the way, is not a good thing. Talks about uh, one of the worst genetic engineering corporations in the world, Monsanto. Basically, they create Roundup, which will kill bees, will kill people, and they'll kill plants, unless, of course, they're genetically modified by Monsanto to uh, not die. So what they do is they create a seed, which they now own the seed. That is not any longer a so-called public seed. So they create a seed that won't be killed by Roundup, they plant it, they spray Roundup on it. By the way, how good is that for your food? To have Roundup killer sprayed on it? I mean, how responsible is that? That's what's going on, okay? For some very cheap soybeans, okay? Which is genetically modified. But here's the catch. The farmer who grows that stuff does not own the seed that he grew. The seed is owned by Monsanto because they designed it. Therefore, the farmer can be in get in trouble from federal crimes if he saves any seed for the harvest for the next year. So now when you start eating their food, you're not just eating their, 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 their soybeans, you're paying, part of what you're paying for is a licensing fee. I don't know if that makes anybody else really, 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 really mad, but I think it does. And it's a, it's a perversion of, of capitalism. A perversion, and that's basically what we're dealing with in America is, is the perversion of capitalism to the point of greed, selfishness, and all, you know, no holds barred. They'll work on creating beings, creatures, and everything they own that have no rights because they were created genetically modified. When the pollen from the genetically modified soybeans tra travels across the street or across the field to the non-genetically modified soybeans and intermixes there, all of a sudden you have a genetically modified plant there because of the pollen, which also this company wants to think they can claim ownership of because they have high-powered lawyers, crooks. Lawyers, doctors of the law, the same people who hung Jesus on the cross. So I'm just trying to put the information out there. There's a lot of pros and cons in this book on uh, genetic engineering. I got it in my public library. Uh, opposing viewpoints. Here's the thing. The main thing in favor of genetic engineering is it allows corporations to make outrageous sums of money and it damages our environment with them having impunity. So I thought you'd want to know about that.